Welcome to America Decides, Monday through Thursday at 5 p.m. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us here on CBS News. I'm Lilia Luciano. And I'm Lana Zak. Here's a look at the top stories we're following for you right now. A major sit down at the White House as the U.S. gets closer to potentially defaulting on its loans. We look at the status of negotiations as the president and House Republicans look to try and find any common ground. And searching for a motive, police in New Mexico want to know why an 18 year old man went on what appeared to be a random shooting spree, killing three people and wounding six others. And Ukraine's military shoots down 18 missiles fired in a barrage at the capital of Kyiv. Why officials say the attack is proof that the country needs even more help from its Western allies. Later this hour, laying down the rules, a key Senate committee opens hearings on regulating the AI industry before the technology becomes too advanced to control. And the ripple effect of the concert economy, how the impact of tours by stars like Taylor Swift, Bruce Springsteen and Beyonce really go far beyond the box office. President Biden is set to meet with congressional leaders again to discuss the nation's debt ceiling limit. Well, this second round of talks comes one week after the leaders met but failed to find a resolution. The nation is now just about two weeks away from defaulting on its debt, according to the Treasury Secretary. But all parties involved remain entrenched in their position with little space for concessions. So on Monday, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen reiterated the position that the U.S. will likely default on its debt if a deal is not reached by June 1st. So joining us now is CBS News senior White House correspondent Weijia Zhang. Weijia, first of all, if you don't mind, let's talk about just how dire the situation would be if the country defaults. And is there any room for negotiations at this point or for compromise? I think one thing that both sides can agree on